In April 2004, my son Rowan was diagnosed with autism. The feeling was like being hit across the face with a baseball bat. Grief, shame, this weird irrational shame, like I cursed this child by giving him these faulty genetics. I had to find a way. I had to find a way into his mind. And I found it, amazingly, through a horse, Betsy. When Rowan got up on Betsy with me, he began to talk to let me into his world. He's a nice horse. So we began to ride every day together, and he began to talk more and more. And I thought, you know, have I got it all wrong? Does autism have to mean the end of everything? I mean, when the diagnosis first came, it was as if our entire world had shut down. But was I looking at it the wrong way around? Could this not be the gateway to adventure? What if we were to take Rowan to a place where horses and healing go together? What if we were to do something like that? When you first proposed the idea, I just looked at him like, this is crazy. The idea that autism needs treatment is itself quite controversial. Autism is more than just a medical condition. It's also, if you like, a personality type. The only way that we're actually going to be able to cure these people is to be extremely open-minded and be out of the box. The worst thing you can do is to just do nothing. Everybody in the field agrees on that. Children with autism can Learn. We are literally trapping them in environments that are not meeting their intellectual needs. In fact, we may be reinforcing their deficits. Mm -hmm. Where the girls are lonely, are lonely. We gotta go ahead. Where the stairs are I'm so proud of you.